All right, good afternoon, garden friends. As I am getting my, my vegetable garden prepared, I'm actually going to be trying my hands at growing potatoes. Now, I sat there and I watched the uh, millennial gardener, so I'm going to follow his steps to uh, see if I can yield uh, some potatoes for us. These are 15 gallon bags that I have filled up mostly with the soil and um, compost, which is the top layer. And the one thing that he said, and I think I forgot it, uh, is I need to go and get my plant tone and bone meal mix to lay on the top, mix it in, then lay my potatoes with the eyes up, and then put another layer of compost on top of it and then sprinkle uh, some more of the plant tone and bone meal mixture so let me go get my fertilizer mixture i thought i grabbed it all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put the plant tone and bone meal fertilizer on here now I know he had like four bags, only have two. Nice handful on there. Mix that in. And then this is six inches, uh, because as he was stating, as the sprouts uh, pop up, we just continue to put more compost on it but then he also said don't mulch it because as you can see this is a full sun area uh, so these guys will get full sun pretty much most of the day so i'm hoping that this is going to be a good area for them and then these guys got some nice eyes on them so and that was the thing he said too um make sure the eyes are are what's up now he put six or five in his, and that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Come on. So I'm like really excited about doing this and hopefully yielding um, some potatoes for us. Cause like I said, uh, my goal is whatever is growing in this garden, is going straight to the dinner table. I got some extra ones. I'm just gonna put these extra ones in. If we killed something, it does. If not, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay. I'll end up putting uh, some compost over top of it. I believe he said six inches. And then I'm not going to mulch this. I can't remember if I said that. Uh, as he said, you know, just in case it rains, you don't want the potatoes sitting in uh, water because the mulch will help retain the water. Really windy today, but it's gorgeous supposed to be gorgeous this weekend so I'm gonna be a busy little bee um, and then after I get done with the potatoes I'm going to get my green beans and uh, plant it over with the uh, garlic and I have some spearmint and um, rosemary over in that bag
put another layer of the fertilizer on top. And because this is slow release, that way it slowly feeds the potatoes. I'll put another layer on top of this. And then this is the thing too. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys watered. Um, and I will be done with uh, planting my potatoes out. And like I said, I'm gonna wait until uh, greenery come up. Then you put more of the compost over top of it. Um, and then he did state um, that you could use like a water soluble fertilizer. And I'm like a big user of the fish emollient fertilizer um, that I'm using for all of my vegetables and also my um, potatoes. And see, I do like the grow bags because I um, I also propagate in in the grow bags and end up having really good success with them. All right, so those guys are filled with six inches of uh, the compost on top, uh, two layers of the fertilizer, and like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get these guys watered after I plant um, my green beans in the, uh, this uh, fertilizer. And when I go over there to plant them, I'll show you. Um, that is supposed to help with uh, beans for the, as far as giving them that extra nutrition that they need to be able to sprout. So I'm gonna use that in both the edamins and also the, the green beans. So let's go on over to the other uh, vegetable garden bed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plant my uh, green beans. And these are Blue Lake Stringless Pole Beans. Um, uh, I'm, I got two packs. I think this whole section I'm going to plant with the beans because Kevin will come out here and I'll have green beans planned for dinner and he will eat them right out of the garden. So I'm going to do two sections of them. Uh, the uh, Adamendes, I am going to have to find another location. I might end up putting in it, putting these up where my herb garden is in a bigger pot uh, because they don't like um, direct sun. And like I said, this is a direct sun area pretty much all day. So um, the one thing they say about the green beans, um, they will be about five and a half inches long and they have a mild flavor and make excellent snap beans. And it says plant, uh, sow seeds when soil is warm and all danger of frost has passed. Plant two seeds every four inches. Uh, you can soak seeds overnight before planting and it'll help speed up the germination. Uh, I didn't do that. And then thin to one plant every four inches when the plants have four leaves on it. So, and then the more you pick, the more it will end up producing for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys planted. But like I said, the edamendins, I'm going to uh, probably put them up where my herb garden is. So, and this here is my garlic that is doing really well, but they say, you know, it's ready when the leaves start to curl so they're not ready yet but i'm just going to use one of the sticks to measure and for the holes for the green beans and it says plant two seeds every four inches
And then what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to plant these in here. And then the bed that's in the back, it's going to be a combination of more tomatoes, green peppers, uh, zucchini. Um, what else do I have? Carrots. I'm going to get the carrots plant. I think I just might do the carrots in this section since I'm not going to be able to do the animating. So but let's go ahead and get these guys planted. Oh, yeah. I think I got enough. Two for each hole. Boy, this is going to be so nice being able to come out and harvest. So my fingers are crossed that everything will end up uh, germinating for me. And then it says two. Oh, okay. Oh, and this was the other thing. And, and I'm hoping with the mulch on here, uh, it says avoid working around beings when wet. Uh, it may spread disease. So, and then and this is like the perfect time for me to be planting the green beans because based off of my zone, um, April to July is when you can plant them. Oh, maybe that's just a little too close. Hold on. And then I'll make sure and here. I'll make sure I get my make my um labels so that I know what I got in here. Tell you that wind is like really kicking up. Okay, those guys are done. Like I said, I'll get them marked. Let me go ahead and get my carrots and get those guys planted right here. Yeah. I'll go ahead and get everything water. So let me go get my carrots. Okay, so <clears throat> these are just your regular basic carrots. Um, they say they mature in 40 to 50 days, uh, plant in well-fertilized, well-drained soil, uh, and the water when the, uh, weather is dry. And this will be so nice because I know that the grandkids all love being able to come out here 
and pick uh, pick the fresh vegetables. I do have um, some marigolds and then I also have some lavender that I'm going to work in the bed just to help protect even though I'm using that uh, uh, cedar mulch to help keep the bugs down. So let's go ahead and get uh, the bed watered. I'll mulch, or maybe I'll mulch first. That way it won't push the dirt away. I'll get it mulched and then um, get watered. And then these two beds will be done. And then I'll start on finishing the other half of the uh, garden bed with the, and then go ahead and finish up adding the uh, zucchini, green bean, green bean, zucchini, um, peppers, red and green peppers, and got some other stuff. <laughs> but um, so let me go ahead and get the mulch and get that covered over this. All right, garden friends, I don't know how this happened, but um, when I was editing my video that I did a week ago, I did not capture me mulching the bed. But wait a minute, you gotta look at this. This is a week ago and my green beans are all ready up. The carrots getting filled out too. So uh, this is the second garden bed that I have completed on my new vegetable garden journey. Right. Give these guys a nice dose. And because I got three and six inches of soil on here, I want to make sure that at least this first batch of water does get down. Like I said, this is a 15 gallon tote. And then what I may end up doing is every other day, especially since this is supposed to be hot this weekend, I'll probably come out and water these guys on Sunday. But just to keep the soil moist, but not saturated. All right, guys. Well, thank you again for visiting Inspiring Garden Corner and taking this next chapter with me on my vegetable garden journey. And I look forward to you checking out my next video.